Hey everybody, so today I am doing a tag and as soon as I saw this tag, I absolutely fell in love with it. I know that I had to do it. And it is the More Than Beauty tag. And I just want to do this tag just so that you guys can kind of get to know me more and, you know, just let you into uh, my personal life and me a little bit more than just beauty because you guys know that I like to do videos um, that are not beauty related as well. So, um... I just tag everyone. I don't tag just any specific people. Anyone who feels like they want to do this video, um, then please leave your video responses down below or even answer them in the comments if you guys don't make videos. I would really love to um, see your, what you all you know think about this. So um, I just have the questions on a piece of paper here and I'm just going to get started. So um, I haven't you know like rehearsed or thought of the answers or anything so I'm just going right to it. Number one is your fondest childhood memory. Um, I actually, I don't have that many um, memories from when I was a child. I can't really, um, I mean, I can remember a few things, you know, but not a whole lot that stand out to me. But one thing that I can all, I can remember, we did this all every time. Um, my great grandma, we would go to her house. And every time that we went to her her house, me and my little brother, we would always get um, peach pop. Like it was peach flavored pop and a chocolate chip cookie. She had this big chocolate chip um, cookie jar. Like it was huge. And it had the big lifting lid. And we would always get us a peach pop and a chocolate chip cookie um, every single time that we went to her house. And we would eat it and um, drink our pop. And so that's just something that I always will always remember um it's just something that you know sticks out to me number two um quirky habit i don't have that many habits um but one that i most definitely have is um biting my fingernails and fingernail polish um i'm trying to grow them out right now um these are actually a lot longer than they usually are, which you guys might be like, oh my gosh. But um, what I'll do is I will bite the fingernail polish off of them and then I'll bite my fingernails. So it's really a habit and I'm trying to stop as much as I possibly can. Um, so it's better in there. <laughs> Number three, do you play sports? Um, no, I don't play sports. I've actually never been in a sport. I'm not... Um, I don't really, I like to play sports, believe me, I love basketball, baseball, um, but I've just never played one in a team, you know, I love to play them at my house with my family and stuff, but I've just never been into it, you know, like, in a team, um, per se. Um, number four, what is your favorite book? Um, that is definitely Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Myers, that is my favorite book of all time. Um, I absolutely love that book. Sorry for you guys who are not Twilight fans, but I absolutely love it. You know, to his, her own. <laughs> um, number five, if you could invent something, what would it be? Huh, that one's a hard one. I guess I'll probably have to say a, um, a, like, time portal that you can like get into and then um one second you can be you know here in your bedroom and then press a button and you can be on the other side of the earth i don't know that's just i don't know i just think that'd be really cool <laughs> number six if you could own your own business what would you do um i actually hope to own a business one day um part-time from a teacher you guys know some of you guys know I'm going to be an English teacher one day and some of you also now know that I love photography I absolutely love it it's one of my passions I love it just as much as makeup actually um and so I am going to hopefully do a photography business on the side of teaching when I get things rolling um you know, I'm going to have one here in my hometown and do people's seniors pictures, um, weddings, you know, things like that. I would really love to do that one day. Number seven, someone that you admire that doesn't know who you are, and that is definitely Oprah Winfrey. I, I just, I admire her. I have watched her ever since I was a little girl. Like, me and my mom would always just, when Oprah come on, we would watch it. Um... 
you know, she's just giving away so much thing, so many things to so many people, and um, you know, she is definitely a very orient, um, orientated person, and um, I just really like what she has did, you know, with her fame. Um, number eight, a talent you wish you had. This one is another hard one. Hmm. Talent I wish I had. Um, I guess I would have to say I've always wanted to be able to do a backflip. Like Jared, he can do, um, Jared can do backflips and I'm always like, oh my god, you know. Um, so I just wish I could do backflips. I was in gymnastics when I was in elementary school, but um, it never went anywhere. Um, so um, just the talent I wish I could have would be to be able to do backflips. Um, number nine, something you wish you'd known two years ago. Again, very, very tough one. Um, I wish I'd read through these, actually, before I did this. Um, hmm. I would say that I wish I had known two years ago how to prepare for college. Um, because, yes, I, ha I did... Um, I have received scholarships. I received three scholarships um, for college this year, but I kind of waited last minute for everything, and I wish that I had known um, to go before time and do things. I actually would, um, there was something in my high school where you could take college classes while you're in high school, and I actually wish I did that. Um, because it would have helped me out in the long run. I wouldn't have to take some of the classes that I'm having to take right now that I'm, well, that I'm going to have to take um, this year as a freshman. So um, just to, um, you know, I wish I knew earlier that, um, you know, how to prepare for college. Number 10, what do you do to feel relaxed? Um, I pretty much just turn the lights off and lay in my bed and read a book. You know, just turn on a lamp beside of my um, bed, read a book, and, you know, that's just really relaxing for me. Number 11, who is someone in your life that makes you feel loved? And um, there are definitely a lot of people in my life that make me feel loved, you know, my family, my friends. Um, but it just says one person, so I'm just going to have to go with Jared, um, my boyfriend of three, um, over three years now. And, um, you know, I just love him more than anything in this world. He makes me, you know, feel so happy and loved. And I don't know what in the world I would do without him. Number 12, the most interesting place you've been and why. I would have to say that would be New York City. Um, I went there on senior trip. And there's just, uh, everywhere you look, something is going on. Literally. You will never be bored there. There's there's lights. There's people. There's action everywhere you look. Something is literally going on in New York City. Um, you it's the city that never sleeps. Um, so definitely New York because you like bam 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 bam. Something's always in your face going on there. Um, number thirteen. Three books you can't wait to read. Wow. I actually don't do my books like that. Um, I don't specifically see like um, when I books are hopped up. I don't really say, "Oh, I'm going to go out and buy that." You know, I'm kind of just the person that walks through a bookstore, and if I see something that I like, even if it's not popular, then I'll pick it up and you know get it. So um, I don't really have three that I am um, can't wait to read because you know I'm kind of just a spur of the moment person when I'm coming to, you know, buy books and read books. Number 14, a cherished keepsake that you will keep forever. Um, and actually, let me go and get that. So my cherished keepsake that I will keep forever is this little ring right here. And if you guys can tell, it says um, baby in cursive. And this is actually my baby ring. Um, as you can see, that's how big it is. My aunt bought me for the bought me this when I was a little baby, and um, I still have it. And so I'm definitely always going to keep this. I've kept it for 18 years, and um, I'm going to keep it from now on. So, 
And the last one, number 15, is something you really want to do or see before you die. And um, I would have to say that that would be to see Sugarland in concert because I really love Sugarland. They're always coming out with new music and things. And I just really, really like their... Um, you know, sound and how they are as a music group. And just to go see them in concert is definitely something that I really, really want to do. So that is it, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed um, watching this tag. And talk to y'all later. Love ya.